But first, let's talk about what's hot now. Okay. Hard to believe, but Valentine's Day is this weekend. I know love is in the air, except for this one apartment in Florida, where a woman was arrested after striking her fiancé in the face when she discovered the ring he had used to propose to her was the same ring he used when he proposed to an ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. He was downstairs watching TV and drinking wine. She's upstairs flipping through old photos, and she sees the ring on the hand of the ex-girlfriend. She did not like it. What okay. a dummy. He got cr and she, I think she was arrested. I mean, she did beat him up. And Sounds like she had to. of his ex-girlfriend in their know. new home. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look, I'm all about recycling, but you can't recycle no. an engagement yeah. ring. Come yes, on. You, yes, you can. No. Yes, you can. If, you, if, you... if it's my mom's ring and I'm giving it to my That's daughter or something like of that. Of course What that. if you take the diamond from an old ring and have it completely reset and redesigned for your new fiance? And you would do I that think, because... I would be fine with that. No. Because I the see. diamond yes. is so expensive. No. Yes, because a diamond can be... No. A diamond it's worthless. You ever tried selling a diamond? That's such a crap. It's that whole last thing. forever. But you Boys. love the guy. He obviously bought this ring for someone else, and I'm just playing devil's yes, advocate. Yes, yes, And now he's your guy, and you're not, and you're changing the whole setting. I sort of get that. The I would be okay no. with that because I'd rather him be conservative about cash and spend that money, you know, for a down payment on a house or something smarter than just a ring. It's okay. Just a ring. I hear that. <laughs> heard the story I was like wow that you know he's you know crazy but we could argue back and forth he gave her an old ring and she gave him a new ring around his eye chick has his heart that's all you need yeah, I'm gonna sh throw you some raw meat yeah. Stroud is crazy all right regifting is a term that was of course made famous one of my favorite shows Seinfeld I love Seinfeld yeah. it's one of the best Another classic Seinfeld discussion, good naked versus bad naked. Because that's the way we roll here, all right? Now, Megan, I'm looking at you because I understand. I'm not making understand. eye contact with you, No, Meredith. because you have admitted that you walk around your home naked all the time. I am a time. naked mama. Yes. All the time we have windows my husband gets so mad at me he's like they can see you. i'm like if they're looking at this i'm like this is what they want to go for it I <laughs> agree. No one's I... I think you live in a house in the suburbs and you don't have neighbors kind of looking. But in New York City, you know, we're all stacked on top of each other. I cannot unsee the things that I have seen. Yeah. So that's kind and of for, like my issue. I'm like, to look, I love oh. nudity. I'm naked halfway down here. You don't see my pants. Dude. I, I forget, you know, sometimes living here in New York, just yesterday, we were, you know, cooking in the kitchen and all that kind of stuff, and then I, we weren't cooking as I'm naked, but afterwards going to bed, naked, walking through, you know, the kitchen, and I see all the other buildings, and I see other people, I'm like, oh, if I can see them, they, they can see you. you. They can. So I'm like, hey. <laughs> you yeah. well, you've got to be careful. I know. Yeah. That picture will appear everywhere. Yeah. You That's know? okay. Exactly. Well, you're saying they don't want this? Of naked. What about? I mean, do you sit on? No, you don't sit on anything. Yes. No, yes. unless it's your bed. No, you don't sit. No, you Chairs? don't sit on a leather. Yes, yeah, oh, I have a leather couch. No. White I'm leather. Never coming no. over to no. your house. No. It's oh. it's oh. never. Oh. I walk around naked, but I have cats, so when they they, they and they like to jump on me, so sometimes I've had situations where they drag it from my breast. But uh, <laughs> I mean, they just jump, they leap. Uh, but my biggest pet peeve is, I, if you're gonna be naked, be completely naked. I don't like no, this, like, no, no, I no, like no, a half. I don't like the socks and like half, because my mother walks around with like a half slip on and like those little nylon socks and her breasts hanging. I'm like, what's going on? Just <laughs> take it all off. That looks crazy. Wait, you like a half? I like a, like a like a t-shirt, but then nothing else. I like that. Is that your I mo at home? Half. Is that how yeah. Meredith walks around? Yeah. yeah. And by the way, <laughs> and I think that's kind of <laughs> sexy. No. Yeah. Yeah. Woman, but when a man walks around with a shirt and nothing at the bottom, it's right. a lot of Risky stuff. Business. Business. Speaking about naked, do you like porn? Suddenly they 
they froze. Uh, when I was beating the guy for giving her the, the ring, they were all excited about porn. Well, the draw the anyway, there. there is this author who is also a porn director. She's calling for pornography to be shown to students as part of their sex education courses. Yep, she says... This is high school I students. Mean, high school right. students, too. All right. so, she says that including age appropriate pornography would help educate kids better about sex. I think she's crazy. Uh, I, I disagree. Yeah. I, uh, why would what's, you what's why age appropriate? What's age appropriate well, porn? Is it like uh, Sesame Street doing it? I don't know. What's age appropriate? You know? Well, well sex ed is taught in seventh grade, right. right? Seventh, eighth grade? I think what she's trying to say is when you watch porn, they want to educate kids that this is not what sex is, it could be or what bodies look like. You want to really educate, like respect in the bedroom. Like, you know, there's certain things in the bedroom. You know, I think it could show you what you should and shouldn't do in the bedroom. I don't know. It might be a great example. School is the, the right place the school. for that. I, I think it's to educate women, young women and young men about their bodies, how to medical not side. get pregnant, the medical side of it, what the implications yourself. are. Exactly. Yeah. You're a younger person. You know, you're, you're you somebody know that's already getting then. into sex. And yeah. I think the thing is, these kids are going online. When we the were kids, you couldn't yeah, get porn all the time. Yeah. Yeah. These so kids can watch porn online, on, right? on their iPads and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, the kids have already seen everything. So in class now, just say, look, everything that you've already Googled, right. let's let's just talk about it. You don't have and to show a, it. And that should be a safe space for them to ask questions and get educated. Yeah. Because online, you're just getting all of these images. And you're not learning about what's really happening. So Well, it's an interesting debate, for sure. So let's move on. All right, last here in the show, I talked to these two young women who were sugar babies, and they had met wealthy older men who became their sugar daddies. They actually entered into these real arrangements. They were taken for fancy meals, and they got gifts, and a lot of times they, the guys would pay for their tuition. These were college students. Sex was not always involved. Well, the topic is in the news again because the sugar daddy website, there are sugar daddy websites, this one's called Seeking Arrangements, says that the number one university in terms of the number of students that signed up to be sugar babies in the past year was NYU. More students at NYU than any other university in this country signed up, these are girls, to be sugar babies mm -hmm. last year. It's the largest and in America. I believe it because I had a friend, I'm not gonna say what school to identify her, but I had a friend who a couple would kind of sort of rent her out for the semester and they would pay her rent and, you know, get her meals and help with her tuition. And she was going to a really good school, very smart girl, but, you know, there was certain things that had to be exchanged. She want, she liked having that. And there was a lot of other girls that were doing it with her. So we may not know about it because people don't talk about it, they keep it on the low, but there are a lot of people putting themselves through school that way. But we yes, keep, they are. We keep saying smart girls. I don't think these girls are that smart. If you're that smart, get a job, get a scholarship, get a loan. There are other right. ways to pay. I was on my, but I, I mean, right, I had no money when I was I in mean college. Smart and that, well, and I was on I financial mean, aid. I don't disagree you know? with you to that end. I, don't, I think when people put themselves in a situation where they have to do what they have to do, I try not to say smart or dumb because you never know what yeah. you're going to do when you're in that situation. But what I meant is this is a very book smart, like she was studying a very, right. you know, I don't yeah, want to say what it is, they'll know who it is, but these guys. Yeah, I mean, these it's are a whole smart, thing. they're going to be doctors and lawyers and doing all kinds of things. You'd be surprised There's another way. girls who are, well, for some people it may not be. Thank God we didn't have that, to do that. But when she started explaining to me the kind of money yeah. that she was getting, it was easier for her because she couldn't afford the tuition. But easy, it was, that's the key. It was easier easy. for her to get that money and get what she needed versus working as hard as she was working and studying a heavy workload, you think know, course load. They see it as taboo the way you do. Yeah, I think they not. see it as a business transaction. Right. They're going to make a lot of money. Um, but is it just a, a glorified way? You're just a glorified hooker. Oh, well, right? Escort. I mean, escort that's... But here's the larger... Okay. What you're missing, the larger thing is, is the cost of college education and how well, that's making it do. <laughs> this is the bigger issue, why it's so expensive, and it's becoming... That's people are doing desperate part. things yeah. and in desperate times. Yeah. And, yeah. and, I, you know, and I, I can't judge what you're going to do. As long as you're not hurting someone, then, I mean, do what you got to do. But I you're guess. hurting yourself. Yeah, well... Oh. All right, before we go, we all love a good viral cat. Oh, this is cute cat photo. But, <laughs> but would you want a cat where you buy your food and other groceries? Take a look at Ollie. He's taking the internet by storm and ruling his London neighborhood grocery store with an iron paw. He just, he apparently belongs to somebody who lives next door, and he just likes to hang out in the supermarket and stare people down. <laughs> so nobody dares touch the cat because they don't know if the cat will go crazy on them. I mean, 
I happen to like animals roaming around, so that's just me. You want but cat hair in your cheese? You're like, well, imagine you, know, you pick up stuff and you have kitty cat hair. Just, I mean, he's just about but like, cat hair gets everywhere. Dander. Like, he's uh, walking out late at night. No one's in there. He's eating I things, like eating some grapes. Eating he's some probably the eating the mice that are in there. And everything like, else. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And, and he's going to the bathroom somewhere. I mean, that's well, just Well, you know what? I, I'm going to call shenanigans on myself for once. <laughs> because I have two cats that I love. Yeah. And I would love them to be everywhere. But I don't like other people's pets all over my food and stuff. So I have to agree with you. Get him up out. He might be asking for help. Why he keep going over here if he has an owner? <laughs> 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 but then, how do you explain? But how do you explain? There is a new trend and it's popping up everywhere of these cat cafes. Right. I think love there's it. one now in New York. They have it in there's San Francisco. One in yeah. Where people come and they have coffee, and then there's a room with cats that are up for adoption. You go hang out with a cat, have your coffee, your tea I with them, love or whatever. That. With a grocery store, you know, what if you're allergic, though? I mean, that's just kind of selfish, yeah. you know, thinking of that. But so like I would go to this cafe. cat cafe. Anyway, I wouldn't, I wouldn't I mess with cat. Ollie, for sure.